Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of Love Life. The last one ended so scandalous. We walked in on Daniel with Miss Sydney doing the dirty deed, which blew my mind. It blew all of our minds. No one was expecting that. So we just got to find out what happens. I'm not going to talk too much on this little intro. We're just going to start it. So let's just jump straight into the drama. <gasps> I just, oh my God, Liam. Liam, who's, hi dad. Ew, you're a dad? Sydney, that's that's the first thing you say, girl? Uh, 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 confront Sydney. Sydney, you're cheating on Ethan. I would have called out Daniel, but I could care less about him right now. It's all about Miss Sydney. It's, it's not what it looks like. Hmm. Really, girl? Oh, really? You can't tell Ethan. You can't, Kelly. This is all just a silly misunderstanding. Then what do you call the last three assistants, Dad? <gasps> Were those misunderstandings too? Get him, Liam. Mom will be thrilled to hear that after all these years. Th three? This isn't exactly how I imagined our reunion, Liam, but this is exactly how I imagined it. I knew you'd never change. Half the reason I became Gatsby was to get away from you and your reputation. Wait, you're Gatsby? Oh, I'm a huge fan. That's the first thing you say to your son when you're just caught with your assistant in all this other drama that had happened? Really? R really? <sighs> confront- wait. I thought I said confront. Okay, so we can reassure Sydney. No. Comfort Liam or stick up for Daniel. No, let's comfort Liam. Do you want to get out of here? What's wrong? We heard screaming. Did you find Gats? Holy, oh, everyone can see it now. Now y'all all know. Daniel and Sydney, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it makes all the sense. Sometimes the heart sees something the mind would never catch. What? You seriously can't tell any? Enough. Oh, Liam Gatsby's going in. I want you out of my house right now. We can work this out. Let's just talk about this, son. Now. Son, you know we came here so Kelly could get the story on Gatsby, but this worked out better than we could possibly have imagined. Now we can work together to make the best story possible. Out, get out. Dude, take a hint, get out. Bye. I'm sorry for, I didn't know, I didn't realize, I'm just sorry. Why are you sorry? You're only sorry because you're caught. I gave her a chance back in the limo when I gave her my glass of champagne, but she, mm. Well, super fun party. Oh, this is so just awkward being left alone now. Thanks so much for having us, Gats. Er, Liam. We're gonna go. We'll be by the car, Kelly, whenever you're ready. Um, let's say something. I am so sorry that was horrible. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. You work for him? Well, that makes you as bad as he is. Liam, please. Oh, excuse me. I want you to go. <gasps> I, I, all these men. Okay, what did we do? We were we nice. We defended Liam. You know what? I'm tired of all these men. You lost all your chances. We're single and independent. Look, the sun's up. At least Viper's here. Viper's the only good one out of all these men. I can't believe we stayed up all night. After that party, we had a lot to talk about. I could, yes. After that party, I doubt I'll ever sleep again. That was a mess. Yeah, that was the biggest mess of a party. The fact it started so cute and then it just went, it, it really went down the toilet. I still can't believe Sydney's cheating on Ethan. And the fact she had the nerve to sit there and be like, please don't tell him. And then I'll like, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, girl, please. Really? I thought that was just about the most predictable part of the night. I mean, you know, sometimes people cheat because they feel trapped. They want out, but they're too afraid to ask. They're too afraid, so they cheat. Viper, honey. Okay, so they'd rather blow up their lives and get dumped. Yes, it forces someone else to make the decision. I mean... Yeah, but uh, no. So what was he like? Gatsby, I mean. Well, he was deep and surprising. Pretty sure his photo was next to the diction dictionary definition of brooding. All that and he looks like Harry Styles. No, he doesn't. And a baby with Ryan Gosling. Oh, okay. No offense, babe. None taken. He does. 
And now that he hates me, because despite what Daniel told me about him and Ellen, Daniel was the monster all along, or Liam's wrong and Daniel was telling the truth, I don't even know anymore. No way, babe. Daniel's the villain here. He didn't even know his own son was Gatsby. And he's screwing his assistant, which is exactly what Daniel said Ellen did to him. Yikes, speaking of she who must not be named. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Sid, you okay? Zoe, don't even lie and act like we care. We don't. You must feel like you've made a mess that can't be cleaned up. <laughs> I mean, I do. What is Viper doing? Uh, you have to tell Ethan. It's the only fair way to handle this. I know, and I will. But please, Kelly, you have to let me do it my own way. In my own time. Are you kidding me? It pains me to say this, but I know I screwed up. I made a huge mess, but it's my mess. And I'm the one who has to clean it up. That goes triple for you, Kelly. Don't you dare breathe a word about this until Ethan and I... What about me? <gasps> oh, surprise! Ethan's here. Ethan, what are you doing here, babe? Uh, don't babe him. I saw the pictures you posted last night. You looked so amazing and I missed you so much. I had to come down here. So I took the 4 a.m. jitney out so I could be with you. I haven't slept at all, but it was so worth it to see my girl. <laughs> so... Wait and see what happens. I'm glad you're all here because there's something important I have to say. <gasps> Is he going to ask Sydney? Oh my God. Oh, Viper, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Sydney. Oh my God. Ethan's going to propose to Sydney. Oh my God. What do I do, y'all? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell him. And here's the reason why. Because Sydney is just rude and evil at every corner. I tried being nice to her. Tell Ethan. Wait. Tell you what are you doing? Ethan, I can't let you do this. What are you talking about, Kelly? You're, yeah, we're going to find out. Spill it. I'm sorry, Sydney, but I have to tell him. I can't let him do this. Hello, tell me what. I'm right there. Ethan, Sydney's cheating on you. With Daniel. <gasps> Spill the tea, sister. I I can explain. Ethan, baby. Let her explain. Don't you think she at least deserves to explain herself? Sydney, is this true? Okay, we'll give her... You, she can talk about it. I'm sorry, Ethan. Yes. I'm sorry. Daniel doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know what's wrong with me. You're so amazing. The only person who ever who's ever even seen me for me... As per usual, I messed everything up. I I can't even... What, babe? What do you say? I can't believe I fell for it. For you and all your bullshit. <gasps> Everyone told me you were a snake. Everyone tried to warn me about you and I stuck up for you every time. I always defended you. Guess the joke's on me. Ethan, please. I want you to leave. <gasps> we're over, Sid. For good this time, I never want to see or talk to you again. I want you out of my life. I shouldn't be so happy that someone's going through this drama, but I am. Say nothing. Bye. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, Ethan was kind of sort of our friend. Sydney was, and he had a right to know. She had all the chances in the world, and she was not going to tell Ethan. She wasn't. I wasn't going to let Ethan get married to her with that situation. No, 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 no. Come on, E. It's not all bad. You've still got us. I mean, I don't think he cares. Honestly, you're so much better off without Sydney. Now you can move back in with us. Yeah, Noah's on tour so you can have his room. Or you're welcome to detox in my spare loft if you need space right now. What's important is that you embrace this anger so it can pass and healing can begin. I mean, all of the above. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to say. This is all so humiliating. Oh, I feel bad for Ethan. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I could have at least told you later in private. No, are you kidding? I was in a relationship with the pathological liar. The last thing I needed was someone else to keep the truth from me. Kelly, it means so much to me that you spoke up. 
You really saved me. Aw, I just can't understand how I could be so clueless. Um, you're, he's a nice guy. Sidney's a master manipulator or next time you won't be so naive. I don't want to like be like shady to him and say next time. I don't want to like throw Sydney under the bus anymore. Like she's just gone. You're, he's a, like maybe the nicest I've ever met. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. That goes for all of you. At least we can have Ethan back. At least as a friend. Maybe more. We'll see how he acts towards us. I don't know. Zoe, Isabella, and... I'm uh, Sorry, who are you? Oh, me. I'm Viper. <laughs> uh, right. Viper. The extras. Anyway, I'm so lucky to have friends like you. We're so lucky to have you. Which is exactly why I'm texting Brandon right now to tell him to set aside all his top shelf liquor. Yeah, I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. Tonight, we're going to the spot and drowning your sorrows, Ethan. Tomorrow, you won't even remember, Sydney. That's the worst idea someone could do. I am definitely down with that. But sitting on a smelly bus back to NYC is the last thing I want to do right now. Oh, right. Why don't you two just take my plane? Drink some champagne, relax, get some alone time. Isabel and I can take the bus with Zoe. Seriously, that sounds amazing. Thanks, man. Kelly, what do you say? That's not happening, sister. We're taking the bus. That's okay, Viper. We'll just take the bus back with the others. That's fine. <laughs> this must be our cab to the bus station. We should go, Kelly. Okay, well, I guess Viper and I will just have to take the plane back. See you all at the spot tonight. Ready? Definitely. Okay, it's like, Ethan, I just don't know how I feel about him yet. I'm not ready for a rebound situation, so... This is a big night for you. Ethan's finally single and he's dying for some time with you. You need to look hot AF once again. You're right, let's see what you got, Isabel. Are they really about to do a back-to-back -back gym purchase for me? <laughs> okay, it's not even fair that you look that hot. One look at you in that end, and Ethan will be driven to the brink of what he can't withstand. I'm Gucci, really. Wear my regular clothes. I think I'll just change back into my old outfit. Really? Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. I'm okay. I can just rock a nice little t-shirt. Hmm, good luck. Oh, trust me, girl. We don't need the luck. It's fine. Hey, I'm downstairs. Come find me. All right, so Ethan's here. I still... Who? so much has happened in the past, like, five, ten minutes. Wow. All right, so let's at least get our drunk on after all of this. It's time for shots. Oh, they're going straight for it. By this time tomorrow, Ethan's sorrows will be officially be drowned. Cheers. All right, let's all take a little shotty poo. So what should we do? Okay, let's... Let's just hit the dance floor. Come on, let's dance. All right, let's get wild out here. Oh, they throwing their hands up. What is Viper doing back there? Why is he getting so close to me, y'all? What is he doing? Ethan, what's wrong? This was our song. Sid talked about it being our first dance at our wedding. Oh, come on, E. Don't let her keep you down. This is your night. You are free. So let's party these bad vibes out of you, E. You're right. We're here to have fun. Oh, thank gosh that song came out of nowhere. It kind of saved us. <laughs> All right, more drinking, karaoke, okay, let's see, another drink, they're going, you know what though, it's a fun night, oh, Ethan's riding it, is that what he does in the bedroom? <laughs> another drink, how are y'all still okay? I know, my oh, more people are here, okay, everyone's getting wild, I was so stupid, Kelly. Stop saying that. I mean, it's true. <laughs> but I wish, but I was, I knew I shouldn't have moved in with Sydney. I just wanted it to work so badly. I can understand that. I want to hit Daniel. It makes me sick to picture them together. Then don't. We used to have a lot. Okay, okay, a lot. Okay, that, okay, okay, that won't fix your problems. It's just one part of a relationship. But I guess now I know why things slow down. She was getting what she wanted from him. Oh, I feel so bad that he's, like, crying. I think Ethan could use some water. It's at that point, of course. See, this is the kind of girl I need to be with. Uh, someone who looks out for me. Okay, Ethan, you look out for me, don't you, Kelly? Oh, this is just... Uh, when I can, you mean a lot to me. Of course, I look out for you. When I can. Okay, Ethan's getting a little too much. He needs to back it up. Ethan, you're too drunk. Uh, you don't even know what you're saying. Oh, no. Get off of her. Oh, gosh. This is... Who are you? The guy who's about to kick your ass, creep. 
Oh my gosh. Liam, no, it's not. He's my, oh my gosh. Oh, this, this is so dramatic to be continued. Uh, okay, so Gatsby, a.k.a. Liam, is here. He just beat up and knocked out Ethan, who tried to make a move on us when he forced himself on us, which wasn't right. No one should force themselves on another, but he did have some liquor in him. That's still zero excuse, but oh, this is a mess, you guys. That entire chapter was a lot. At least Sydney's finally out of the picture, at least for the time being. I hope if we don't choose to be with Ethan, he doesn't get back with her and he finds a nice, cute girl and not Miss Roots. But I don't know. Ethan makes bad decisions, apparently. That was just a whole mess of a chapter. I need the next one. Episode, if you're ever watching this, hurry with the next chapter. I'm ready. Or if this is in the future, then hopefully the next chapter is already out there. Either way, I'm so excited. I really, really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.